Hey guys, JH, welcome to Practice T. We haven't got much, uh, we've only got about 25 k's of wind today, guys. It's almost like none compared to what we've had of late. Feels like zip. Okay, continuing on with our theme of these videos going forward, which is basically only tweaking channel lock to uh, to suit ourselves well frankly sorry guys to just walk off camera but guys really to um, when I say just tweaking now just finalizing you know my final protocol in terms of feels and all those type of things and really embedding them but not changing <clears throat> the overall what I call my turnkey protocol that that's already been determined and established and I'm not going to change that what I am working on and I still haven't had a couple of days in a row where I need to hit three or four hundred shots to get my three lever system working I just need that many balls to to get it working and I need to have you know a lot of this club resting here coming here man I would just love to be able to swing with that tempo and and that delivery deliberateness it's an extraordinary thing once because I've done so many millions of normal reps of a golf swing over the years I've got that program in my brain and I don't have a, brain, a program to hit golf balls with that new action I can do this because I, I don't have to hit the golf ball so I don't need a program but when I have to hit a golf ball I can't do that yet and I don't want to do that but I want to feel that I want to feel that I just want to feel that just some of that just some bicep curl of of reasonable significance in this golf swing I haven't had any of it yet uh, I've had tiny bits because I picked up a lot of speed and a lot of distance so there's a bit ha happening there but what guys I tell you when I get it back to here I'm gonna really have the golf ball motoring absolutely motoring if I can get it back to there that's the first hit of the day and it's perfect. <laughs> oh, wow. It's the thing I like about channel lock. I can just get it back to here. And then just hold it there. Get it back there and then just hold it there. Like that. Well, that's not holding it there, but that's, that's more than I normally have. I just need about three or four hundred of those in a row. And I just need more paws at the top. That's all I need, guys. Like that. That's not a lot of paws, but that's a lot of paws for me. I don't know what that looks like, but that felt like I had some bend in that arm. That really felt like I had some bend in that arm. It's hard to do. <laughs> it is hard to do. Bend it, James. The ball goes so straight, guys. Can't believe how straight it goes. Get it up here a bit so I can. Here we are. Really back footing it. Just doesn't move. The ball is just dead straight. And I, I've got nowhere near where I need to be. 
yet. Okay, I'll just try one when I get it back. Don't know what that looked like, but man, that's this is five iron, that's gone three iron distance. That is three iron with a five iron for me. So I've got to be picking up eight, ten mile an hour with the speed of my uh, my iron. No question, I couldn't hit it that far if I wasn't achieving that type of speed. Increase. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. I'm working on that. A couple of other things I want to have. I want to have a lot of secondary tilt in the swing. I want to have a lot of what I call get down to the ball. I want to get down to it when I hit it. Secondary tilt and get down to it. Like that. Okay, that's exaggerated, but that's unbelievably straight. I want to do that in an exaggerated manner in order to to get, I'm over exaggerating so I'll get enough in the actual golf swing. Wow, that's, that's how I want to feel in this golf swing. And I want to have that trail leg like that when I hit it. I don't want to have that trail leg driving out there on this one snapping. I want to have that one there. Okay guys, just uh, one other thing. Now, the hardest thing for all of us, and it's the hardest thing for me without question, is having a backswing that is nice and smooth and rhythmical and good tempo and not snatchy. I think we all suffer from that. I suffer from it probably more than most. No, no question. But what helps me and what may help you is in taking the club back, guys, I never lift it. I never lift. If I, if I lift the club, that means I've applied my hands in a fashion where I'm grabbing the golf club. I never want to grab the golf club in the early stages of the golf swing or at any stage of the golf swing. I hang on to it a little more aggressively on the downswing because you have to because you've got a lot of velocity but that happens automatically. I don't want to grab the golf club taking it away because the grab guys is what creates yeah, all that, that, that snap and, 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 and jumpiness and quickness and agitation in the backswing and one of the guys and I said I do include today in today's video um, how to get out of a, a jumpy backswing and a jumpy downswing what you have to do and what I work on all the time even though I motivate my golf swing clearly with my hands my hands push down they never pull up they push down and in pushing down they push energy into the golf club the golf club for me feels really heavy at the end so my hands are pushing down into that golf club if we had a big vat of molasses here or maple syrup and we had a big ladle in there a big spoon and we wanted to push it through the molasses how would you do that you wouldn't do that you'd push it like that wouldn't you you push it like that or you pull it like that you wouldn't do that you would push it like that and that's what I feel like. I feel like my, my club setting in the backswing, my club is actually that ladle going through that vat of, of maple syrup or treacle. That's what it feels like, guys. It feels like this is very heavy and, and, it's, and it's made heavy because I push down in the backswing. I don't lift up. Now, if you push down, you, you, get, you get two things. It's very hard to push down quickly and, and in an agitated anatomical fashion. It's very easy to pick up quickly and in an, an agitated anatomical fashion. But if you push down, I promise you, it's, it's hard to, to swing quickly. And, and that's what I want to do. I push it here, I push here, and then I've got that, that weight in the golf club on the downswing, guys. And then I just go looking for that weight on the downswing. I don't grab it with my hands. Because as soon as I grab it with my hands, it fires that weight out into oblivion. But, it, but if I just feel it here and just let it drop, once I've got it, 
once I've got that, that ladle going in the backswing here, I'm loading, the club head is heavy, heavy, heavy. And then I just wait for it. Wait, oh! Let it, oh! Just let it drop. Get it to here. Now I don't do anything like that in my golf swing. But I have some of that intention in there. That that's Ernie Ells type motion and Sam Snead type motion and Louis Eustace type motion. I don't have any of that. They've got that waltz type tempo. It's very much a, a waltz type tempo. But for anybody that's having trouble in the backswing, you must be grabbing and you're picking it up. Because as soon as you pick it up, two things will happen. You'll agitate the head, you'll agitate your hands and all those tendons and musculature in there, they'll become active. Everything becomes active and, and you'll get it up here and then you'll always already be active before you start the downswing and you'll get the Zorro effect with the golf club, with the, the sword. You'll, you know, you'll, cart, you'll carve the Z with, the, with your golf club. Whereas all I want to do, guys, is basically that. I want to push it away there, push it away, let it load and then just let it fall. Push it away. let it load. That's all I want to do. Okay, I don't do it anywhere near as, as slowly or laconically as I do in the, in the practice swing, but there's a lot of looseness in the golf swing and heaviness. I have to have heaviness in my golf club as a feeling. I always have to feel like I want to fling the head off. That's all I can say to guys that, that take it back in, in that quick jabby staccato type agitated manner because you're applying the hands guys you want to have loose wet noodle uh, wrists and the club gets pushed back here and it just loads here then just let it drop just take it back push it back I take that every day of the week I take that every day of the week. That's about, <laughs> I'm gonna get better. My tempo will get better than that, but I would be happy with that. And when I get to swing longer, uh, clearly the tempo should be slower. For people that have got a little short swing, even a shorter swing than mine normally, mine has always been quick because it's short. If I can make it longer, it just takes longer to get up there. They're just easy shots. So the, the message is the club's got to be heavy, guys. It's got to be heavy. That's a golf swing. That's a golf swing. Everything else is an action. If you don't have that in your, in your motion, in your process, in your golf swing, you don't have a golf swing. You have an action. Because you, you're levering and you're trying to put the club somewhere. That's, that's a golf swing. That's a golf swing. And, and you've really got to... You've really got to do that. And they're just... They're just... They're, they're, they're bullets. They're straight bullets. Hard. Hard because the normal thought process for, for, for club golfers is that I've got to put this on that. I have to hit it hard. I've got to, I've got to generate some power in the golf swing, and, and by doing that, I've got to fire that club head on the backswing. Well, you don't, guys. You've just got to, just let it go back, like that. It's just a majestic golf shot, and that's why the great players like the Els and the Eusthausens and the Sam Sneeds, uh, they always have that, that beautiful flight on the golf ball because they're. The golf ball is actually getting in the way, guys. What I feel when I'm swinging really well is this, that the club collects, flings the ball away. The club doesn't come down. This is what you have to get into your head. The club doesn't come down and apply itself to the ball like that. What it's got to feel like is it comes down, it's swinging, as it comes through, 
he collects the ball and flings it. Hogan said that. Hogan said he felt like when he was playing that he used to fling the golf club off the face of the club. Like you had some dirt or mud on there and you wanted to fling it off. That's what Hogan said he did. That's what he said. Sam Snead said that. Sam Snead said, for me, the, the, the club is just, the ball just gets in the way of the golf club. I don't think about the golf club having to hit the golf ball. I swing the golf club and the golf club gets, the ball gets in the way of the swinging golf club. That's all it is, guys. Just let the, let the ball get in the way. Now, how, how do you get that feeling? Well, you can tee a ball up. Just tee a ball up. Well, tee a few balls up. Tee a dozen up in a row. Tee them up high like that. And just walk through doing this. Just walk up to the golf ball. And the ball, the ball will get in the way. I'm not trying to hit that. I'm just letting the ball get in the way of the golf club. That's the way to get the feeling, just whew, whew. Just swing it, oh, I've collected the golf ball, there it is. Golf ball has been collected, I haven't hit it, and I haven't tried to hit it. It just gets in the way. Just gets in the way. No intention there to hit the golf ball at all. None whatsoever. So that's all I can tell you guys, really, uh, is that you must, in the backswing, you've got to push the club down. No, don't push it down like that. Swing it down. Push it while you're swinging it down. Swing it down. Swing it down. Have a couple of practice swings like this, guys. These are just all ways of getting the feeling. Get the feeling that the club actually just brushes the ground like that on the backswing. Brush. 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 Brush, brush. That's how I teach beginners. People that have never played before, that's what I teach. Call that the brushing technique. People have never hit a golf club before. For 20 minutes, I just get them in a golf club and I get them to just brush the ground, 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 brush the ground. And that gets the feeling of the golf swing. It's, I know even, even good players can get a benefit out of that. We're just going to brush the ground. Even the good players will get, or the better player, will get a benefit out of that. People that have trouble with pitch shots, you know, always because they're trying to put the club on the ball, just get a little, your, your, your pitching wedge, your sand on, and just take it back, just brush the ground. Brush it, brush it, brush it, brush it, brush it, brush it. And then just elongate the swing a little bit longer. Longer brush. 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 That's what I'm going to do to get that club back there. Just a, a longer brush. Wow, it's amazing how far that goes when you do that. There's no, I'm, I'm, I've just transposed that, that brushing exercise to the golf ball there. I haven't tried to hit the golf ball. There, there's no effort there to hit the golf ball. None. Zip. The ball's teed up, we're just, but the ball's getting in the way. Okay guys, that's all I can tell you, but that's the way to get the feeling. Get that brushing effect. And try and have it right through the swing. Now, what'll make your downswing slow, is if you get the brushing effect on the backswing, 
and you think I want that same effect on the downswing. You won't be able to do that and get the brushing effect. So in your brain, it'll say brush, backswing, brush requirement for downswing, brush for backswing, brush requirement for downswing. And the brain will automatically adjust our anatomics to make you get that result. It'll do that, guys. It, just, it will just do that. Brush on the backswing. Brush on the downswing. Brush. 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 Okay, guys, we'll call it the brushing exercise. Give it a go. But that's, that's how I get rid of the tension in the backswing. I always feel the weight of the golf club, the heaviness. I never try and pick it up. I push it down and I flow it away. It's like that. It's a paintbrush. I get the paintbrush feel of the golf club. That's it. I've done that my whole life. Every golf swing I've ever had. Even in a conventional golf swing, for anybody that, you know, that um, still plays conventional golf swing, I mean, I still brush it. Just conventional golf swing. It's exactly the same. That's what I do. It's exactly the same process. I just brush it. Brush. Okay guys, we'll call that the brushing exercise. So brush up on your technique.